Hey guys, KevinMK89 here, and welcome back to Star Wars Battlefront 2, and where today I am going to be playing Starfighter Assault. And it looks like we're going to Ryloth, so it's a Clone Wars map. How awesome is that? So we're going to... I don't know how to pronounce the map name. Lucre Hulk La Class Battleship? Lucre Hulk Class Battleship, I believe. And correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, so um... So yes, this is actually, it's pretty late, but um, this is the very first Starfighter Assault video for this channel. And it's, no, it is not the first time I ever played Starfighter Assault. It's just, um, I haven't featured it on the channel yet, and I'm pretty good at it. I like Starfighter Assault. So let's get into this once the game loads. Okay, here we are. Uh, oh, thank you. I freak out. Oh, crap. Haha, <laughs> it took too long to... Whoops, it looks like I took too long to, um, to, uh, pick my ship. Alright, let's go fly. Oh, wow, I already took out, uh, a computer clone. Another arc fighter. Gotcha. No, he disabled my ship! I'm going down. <laughs> no, I'm not. Alright, afterburner, come on. Oh, yeah. This is a this best Starfighter Assault maps in the game, period. Now get back here, you Come back here a viewing. Ah <laughs> He sacrificed himself so I couldn't kill him. That's that's just great. <laughs> Alright. Personally I don't like playing as the droid ships, because they're honestly pretty weak. But the vulture droid isn't that bad. Alright. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. Nice. I'm killing an awful lot of computer players. <laughs> I want to kill players, not computer players. No! No, why? I can't move. What is that? Is that Yoda? I think I found Yoda. Or is that a V? Whoa, be careful there. That's Yoda, isn't it? Correct me if I run, but I believe that's Yoda. Or is it? Ah! It was Yoda! <laughs> I destroyed a hero ship! Wow, that was so easy. Or that was that was really easy. Or is fast. Yoda is such an easy kill. Honestly, his starfighter is really easy to take down. And that's honestly a little bit sad. Oh no, I'm gonna get Ah I got taken out! Aw oh, man. Whoa, I got a lot of battle points already. Okay, let's play as the bomber. Because I have a milestone that I have not completed for the bomber ship class. Alright. Here we go, as the hyena class bomber. Alright, let's go. Look at this map. This map is so nice and open. This is my favorite Starfighter Assault map. This and Kamino, because they're Clone Wars and they're really easy to play on. I personally think they're really easy to play on, too. Oh my. Oh, come on. The bomber ships have too much health. So that means I have a lot of health, because I'm a bomber. Okay, that wasn't smart. Don't use the multi-missile lock. Alright, come on. No, come on. Electronic countermeasures. What this does is prevent missile lock for a short time. So people will not lock onto me, which is pretty nice. Gotcha! You lock onto you then. <laughs> oh man! Hey, what the heck? Oh no, please don't be laggy game. Get him. Oh no! Help! Ah! Okay, I'm in. I'm in sixth place? Really? Let me place the Interceptor, the Droid Tri Fighter. This is one of my favorite ship classes in the game. Because it's, um, it's offensive and it's like... It has really fast f weapons on the ship like this. That's what I really like about the Interceptor ship class. But not every Interceptor ship class is good. The worst intercept Interceptor ship class is the TIE Interceptor. Because it, it shoots too slow and it overheats too fast. And I hate playing as the TIE Interceptor. 
So I never play as the Interceptor when I'm on the Empire. But pretty much all the rest of the Interceptor, Interceptor ship classes for every other faction are pretty good for the most part. Like the V-Wing is really good. The A-Wing. The Tri Fighter. And the, the First Order Special Forces TIE Fighter. Those are really good. Okay. Oh, we lost. <laughs> oh, man, we lost. Let's hope we go to the battleship again. That's an awesome map. Oh, wow. Poe Dameron, he won. That's just great. An era inappropriate character that's a hero will always win. All right. We are going to please go to the battleship. Ah, we're going to the Star Destroyer? So we're going in the new era this time. Come on, no one likes that era. It's boring. Can I stay in the Clone Wars, please? Come on now. I want to be in the... On the battleship. That's a really fun map. It's nice and open, and it's really easy to spot anybody. And personally, or a big tip here is that since there are very few Clone Wars era ships, it is very easy to spot a hero ship when playing in the Clone Wars era. I say this because every other infantry ship is a, either a droid ship or ARC-170. Or a vulture droid, which is the droid ship. So, um... And there are no hero ARC-170s or vulture droids, so... It's really easy to spot Luke Skywalker or Poe Dameron in the... In the Clone Wars era. Alright. Now we're going to play in the worst era in the game. <laughs> what the heck is going on here? Where's all my star cards? I want to play as the Interceptor. Yoda. What is going on here? Some of my hero ship's star cards unequipped automatically, which is really annoying. Okay, here we go. I'll play as a Rebel A-Wing. Why not? And sorry if I didn't get the battleship on both factions, which I which I really wanted, by the way. It would have been much nicer. Okay. But I do really good with the A-Wing. Don't lag! No, it's laggy. That makes it even harder. Because the lag can screw me up big time. Alright. Don't you dare! No! Ugh. The only downside to this class is it has the least amount of health out of the ships. I think it does. Or that's probably that's probably true. Because uh, the bomber is really slow, but has high health. The, the fighter ship class is well-balanced or well-rounded, like the assault class. And the interceptor is, is um, offensive. Or it's like really fast, but, but um, weak at the same time in terms of health. Oh, come on! Don't lag! God, this lag is so irritating. No! Get off me! No! Darn it! Alright. Let's go as the Interceptor again, because I'm about to get a skill point for the Interceptor ship class. I think I am. And, um, the reason why my ship's ranks are so high is because I played this game mode a a decent amount of time before the progression update in the past. Before the progression system was changed. No! Oh, come on! That is not fair. I'm not even at a thousand battle points yet, and I can't even kill more than one person as the Interceptor. That's horrible. Ugh. Let me launch a missile at him. Why not? Got him. Oh, come on! No! Now I have a thousand? Really take that long? That's pretty embarrassing how long it can take to get a thousand battle points. Alright, come on. Can we please do this better? Okay, put the hard lock ability on. Nice. Ah, this thing over. This thing can really overheat too, too fast. Get him! No! It's laggy. This is not fair. Not fair. Not fair. Ugh. This is not fair. It's so laggy and really difficult. Okay, I'll go to the fighter ship class and see if I get any better luck. As the T-70X wing. Alright, here we go. 
All right, let me get that person. Wait, you could attack these turrets, but there's kind of no point in that. Ah, I used that too early. Oops, I used my my droid heal too early. Ah, this quad laser cannon is good, but it overheats way too fast. I took too long to shoot that. Come on, repair you stupid droid ability. Thank you. Okay, come on. No, 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 no. Ah! Why? And just so you guys know, Ivinger hates this game mode. Or this is his least favorite game mode in all of Star Wars Battlefront 2. Which, I don't... I don't blame him, because this game mode can get real hectic and hard. And it's really unfair most of the time. Unless you manage to, um, escape people, or if your teammates are useful for once. Ooh! I got a skill point for the interceptor, and then I died. That's fantastic. Okay, we have one hero ship on our team. Do we? Okay, if I get two 2,000 battle points, I can be a hero ship. And I want to play as Poe Dameron because I want that milestone where the one hell of a pilot for destroying t First Order TIE Fighters. That's why I want to play as Poe. Ah, this is not fair. It's so laggy. Not fair, not fair. Hey! Is that Kylo Ren? Yep, that's Kylo Ren. It's Kylo. Got him. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No! This is not fair. Come on. I'm at 2,000. Okay, this is horrible. Come on! Why is this game so laggy? This is not even fair. I just can't even... Sometimes this thing can lag really bad where it's unplayable most of the time. Oh, come on! No! And this is really annoying, especially if I'm flying, because I'm going to crash if this game lags too much. And this thing will cause me to crash into an asteroid. And we don't want to do that, do we? Or we don't want anyone to lose it. <laughs> I swear, if someone was getting really angry at lag right now, they would, like, slam their controller. Or they would get really angry and then be done with this game. <laughs> All right, come on. Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's a first order trooper transporter. Ah! No, my ship. Alert. First order transport ship's leaving the hangar. Ah, what? Assist? You're kidding me. And my afterburner's on cooldown. That's great. Come on. Oh, look, here's a transporter to destroy. Got him. No, 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 no! <laughs> no! No, I crashed into the asteroid. Whoa! Poe, that's right. I said I was going to be Poe. And my best tip for when playing Starfighter Assault, pick hero ships dependent on the map. So, if you're playing in a really closed map with asteroids in the way, pick a smaller hero ship like Luke Skywalker's X-Wing or Poe Dameron or Tally Lintra or any hero that has a small starfighter. Do not pick anyone that has a... Like, you want to avoid playing as the Millennium Falcon or or any other big ship. I'm going to die. This is... What the heck is going on here? Black Leader, no! What the heck is going on? I'm like... I just spawned in as a hero ship and I almost get killed already? No! Give me my battle points back. Ah! That's so stupid, really? Fine, I'll be Tally Lintra then. I'll be Tally Lintra. Because the A-Wing is pretty good. Alright. I can do decent with... I can do pretty good with Tally Lintra because she's an A-Wing. What does this blue leader ability even do? No, 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 no! What the heck? Come on! Thank you. How about give me all my battle points back, please? Because that's not fair. That is horrible. Okay, this is so horrible. We're almost... I think we're screwed. We can't let this, <laughs> this is horrible. What if I'm a terrible pilot? <laughs> I feel like I am, because I can't even destroy anyone. Because I, I keep getting killed so quickly as a hero ship, too. It's not even fair. I give up. I give up. <laughs> no! That wasn't even fair. 
darn. Oh, I lost both games. Talk about bad luck. And I didn't get the map I wanted after I got the one I wanted. But, um... But anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode of Star Wars Battlefront 2 Online Gameplay. Or Star Wars, just Star Wars Battlefront 2 for now. Or, from now on. I'm just gonna call it that. But, um, thank you guys so much for watching. And please leave a like if you enjoyed. And share the video if you really liked it. And subscribe if you're new and around. Because it helps out the channel a lot. And lets you know you do like my content. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!